I can't forget when you go down home when the sun goes low. Head off the highway to the painted western sky. Walk down a worn path through the back door. Cooking in the kitchen and the kettle is warm. Then you sit down. Welcome to Great Chefs of the West, a video symposium of regional cookery offered by Chefs of the West and Southwest. From San Francisco, a first course by Chef Bradley Ogden. From Austin, Texas, an entree by Chef Gert Rausch. From Los Angeles, a dessert by Chef Susan Vinegar and Mary Sue Milligan. And home-based cooking from the State Fair of Texas. The Border Grill's name is not an accident. It refers to the Mexican border, and some of the most inventive Mexican food in Los Angeles is offered by chef owners Susan Feniger and Mary Sue Milliken. They are energetic and resourceful, and have never dodged the dirty work in the often all-male kitchens they trained in. The menu in their two Los Angeles restaurants remains fresh as a result of working trips into Mexico, like their dessert this time, red yam flan. For the red yam flan, we have uh, 16 eggs and 4 egg yolks which help make it a little richer. And we, <clears throat> we don't want to really uh, put too much air into it, so we mix it all sort of slowly. Two cans of sweetened condensed milk. And what we have here is uh, sugar caramelizing. And one of the things you want to be careful about when you're caramelizing sugar is that the sugar is clean, pot it goes into is clean, and that the water is not boiling too hard so that you end up with sugar crystals on the side. This, even this little bit here, you take chance of crystallization in the pot. So what you want is that you have water and sugar mixed together with your hands and so that the sugar dissolves, put into the pot and just enough water in there so that the sugars dissolve. And you want to have two, we're using two aluminum pans that are dry and clean of anything and ready to, they need to be ready to go so as soon as this gets to the right point of caramelization they can pour right into the pans and the way you can really tell is by the smell of the caramel when it's all turned so we add cream in half and half and then no serrano chilies no that can come right in yeah all spice and cinnamon and all nutmeg the and sweet potatoes. We have three cups of red yam puree, which the way we make it is we roast, we put the yams in a 325 degree oven for about an hour and, or an hour and a half, it depends on how thick they are, until they're soft all the way through. Then let them cool, peel them, and puree them real simply in a Cuisinart, but not, not using too much motion so the starch won't come out in them. So one, you can use, if you, if you can't get yams, the red yams year round, you can always use canned, but I think it's probably, what, what we think is that if you can actually roast these potatoes, you get more of a caramelized sugar flavor than you do out of a canned potato. But if, rather than use a sweet potato, which is much starchier and not nearly as flavorful, it would be better probably to use mm -hmm. a canned yam. Right. When the caramel sets up or hardens, strain the yam mixture. And once we pour it through a sieve, that usually makes, ensures that it's a nice, smooth flan. So you want to put on a water bath any, in any pan. It's water that's going to come about halfway up the sides of the flan pan. Bring it to a boil first, and then we're going to put the pan in and then into the oven. If you put, it, if you put the flan into cold water and in the oven, it takes... Uh, quite a bit longer for it actually to cook than if it goes into boiling water. But then when it's in the oven, you want to make sure that it isn't boiling because then it's cooking too fast and you'll end up with scrambled eggs on the side of the flan. And what you'll see when you have an overcooked flan is holes. All, as you make the cut, there's holes all on the outside of the flan and then throughout the center of the flan too. It means overcooked. that it's overcooked or that it's cooked too fast and too hot and into the pan, and it doesn't need to have, it could have a little bit more water than that, but 
Then you add the flan pans in, bring it back to a boil, and into a 325 degree oven. Yeah. The flan bakes one hour, is cooled, then unmolded by first breaking the seal with a sharp knife. You just need to make, you push it a little bit more to release so that Get the some air, air under there. It will be comforting to home cooks that perfection does not prevail, even in professional kitchens. Hmm. A quick fix is called for. You just have to try and replace the pieces. And test your skills as a puzzle. Puzzle. <laughs> Those are the pieces that you cut out first and then show the half-cut flan. There's a road Headed to the west And it's calling me back again There's a pale blue sky And a north sunset And a place I can't forget You go down home When the sun goes low Head off the highway To a painted western sky Walk down a worn path Through the back door Cook it in the kitchen And the kettle is warm Then you sit down, down. 